Hello everybody, Tom Morley here from FOSS 365, where we use free open source software 365 days a year. So in this mini series, we'll take a look at the Olive Video Editor, how we install it and how we use it. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to the Olive website and download the Olive program. So let's go to www.olivevideoeditor.org. I'll put a link in the descriptions below. So we'll go down to the download section. If you want to, you can check out all the features that um, is available in the beta version of Olive. So let's go to the download section. I'm going to be using Linux. So let's click on Linux here. And it looks like there's not uh, necessarily an install file, but we'll have to um, follow the instructions here because I have uh, Linux Mint uh, version of that, basically Ubuntu Studio. Uh, 19x so I need to follow this block of instructions right here so the first thing we need to do is we can go ahead and copy this we're here and let's kind of put this up in the corner bring it down so that we can see the window let's right click on the desktop and open a terminal and like I said I already copied that first statement let's right click here and click on paste press enter of course, it's going to need my password to allow it to install. And do I want to do this? Yes, I do. I press enter. And that's going to add this PPA repository so that I can actually install the Olive program itself. So one of the things that the new version of Ubuntu does is when you add a PPA, it automatically updates or refreshes your repositories so you don't necessarily need this second statement but i'm going to copy it and paste it in here and run it just so that if you're on an older version that doesn't automatically update your repositories at least you've got a refresh so that you can install the olive editor last but not least let's copy this last line in there and this is actually the line that's going to install it it's going to ask us if we want to install it. Um, I've installed it before, so it may not ask me if I want to install it. It may just actually go ahead and install the package. Looks like that's what it's doing. So we'll wait for it to finish here. Now, if you don't want to go through the installation process, there is an app image down here that should run on just about any form of Linux that it, that's out there. So that's kind of a secondary way for you to install it. So it looks like it's still installing the, the program here. Okay, it's complete. So now I should be able to click up here, go to my video production section, and there's Olive. So it did install it fine. And let's see if, make sure that it opens up. And it did, there's the welcome screen. So that's how you install it from the PPA or from the Olive instructions. Now, the secondary way to do it is if you didn't want to go through the terminal and you didn't want to actually install it on your version of Linux, you can grab one of the app images. And let's go ahead and do that so you see the difference between the two. So let's click on this GitHub link. Let's expand that. And it looks like there's a continuous build, which is a pre-release. We don't want that. We want the latest full-blown release, which would be version 1.0. So what we want in here is the app image for my Linux system. Yeah, I have an AMD system, AMD64, and I want this app image right here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to save that. And it'll save that to my download. So if I click here, looks like it's completed. I'm going to open the containing folder. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go to my home location. And I have an apps folder where I put all my apps. And I actually do have an olive folder here. So I can open that olive folder and I can paste it in here. Now, if I double click on this, it might run, but it might not. What you want to do first is you want to right click on it, go down to properties, go to permissions, 
and make sure that you click the allow this file to run as a program. If you don't have that selected, then your program will not run when you double click on it. So let's go ahead and close it. Let's double click on it and it should open Olive directly. And it, there you go. That's the second way for you to put Olive on a Linux system. Now, if you use the app image, you won't see Olive in your drop down menus. You will have to actually make it a shortcut yourself or go to that folder every time and double click on the app image to load the Olive program up. So two different ways that you can get it installed and, and up and running. And in the next video, we'll take a look at the GUI interface and see what the different sections do. We'll see you in the next one.